And when the Dodgers came to town, I said to my dad, I would like to be the, the bat boy. He said, well, why don't you go ask? So I went down to the Hotel Wolford. They had an office downstairs. A guy named Bill Everly was the general manager. And I, well, I was the only one that asked, or I was the first one that asked, I don't know. But I got the job. Of course, my job was to make sure the umpires had the balls. Um, and if necessary, it had to be rubbed down if there were new ones during the ballgame. Expected the bat boy to get all the foul balls down the left field line and down the right field line. Of course, the field was configured different than it is now. There was more room. And of course, down the right field line, they had a Navajo gang and kids from the neighborhood, and they were faster than I was. They got the ball and went over the fence before I got there. But I got more most of them. And so um, I saw a lot of players who eventually made the, the, the big leagues. Probably the highlight was in 1947, when they, they won outright, and a fellow named Carl Erskine uh, was 16-9 and nine that year, and eventually he made uh, the major leagues with the Dodgers and set a record with uh, 14 strikeouts in a World Series game. Uh, and he was one of them that uh, sort of looked after me when I got on a, went on a road trip because he was a uh, clean liver, no smoking, no drinking, and, and, and things like that. And I'm, I'm only 14 years old and so forth. Uh, so things like that, that you, you remember, but uh, a lot of good, good people.